What's up, buddies? Welcome to the final episode of Fatal Epi 5, where we have a chance to hopefully close out a strong team going into this YouTuber tournament, where, yes, we have put ourselves at a disadvantage only using the teams we were given in the Fatal Draw in Croatia and Nigeria, but I think it's been a very, very fun run trying to build a Nigerian-Croatian team. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, if you're excited for the episode, smash the like button. The voting for uh, episode four, so what players to bring in, was going to be unanimous no matter what. Festival of Fut Perisic got into the team, and then it was really just down to if you guys wanted me to add a proper center back or a proper left back with the thousand coins that we had remain, uh, remaining to work with. So the voting did go Vita's route. Again, I know a lot of you guys are voting for super subs, and I just want to reiterate that I am not going to use Gabriel Jesus anymore. In fact, to the point where I'm going to take him out of the team. So I, I, I told myself, I gave myself a challenge that the only players I want to use in this squad are, of course, Croatian and Nigerian players. And now that we are set up and ready to go, we have a strong team of attackers and stuff like that. I'm going to stick with that rule all the way through the tournament, no matter who I come up against in the fatal draw. I'm not sure when the draw is going to happen. After this episode, we're going to be waiting on who we come up against first, whether it's Bateson or DJ Mario or, or whoever we come up against with their wonder team. And this is going to be the squad we roll with. So for this episode, unfortunately, disappointingly, we did not get a um, Festival of Fut Subasich. Now, EA released uh, very, very recently a new match of the day for team, which had a 91 rated Schmeichel, but they did not put Subasic into the team. A lot of people saying, well, he conceded a, a weak first goal, but after that, Subasic was incredible and a big part in Croatia winning. So they gave a 93 upgrade to Rakitic, but they didn't give us a Subasic. So I'm a little bit upset by that. And, and the main reason for it is, it doesn't matter what happens here, we're not going to really have any crazy upgrade. Now, I could use um, the second in form Verlasala, Verlasalasai or whatever his name is, Verlasalik, um, on seven chem at left back. So we could get that. I think he's 84 rated as a second in form uh, at left back. So that could be something we work towards. But then again, I think he's only like 30 or 35 or 40,000 coins max. And in goal really all I could do is Subasic if I want to stick to Croatia Nigeria really so that's unfortunate um you know I, I would have really really enjoyed a festival of Fut Subasic I think it was deserved I'm not saying that he deserved to keep Schmeichel out of the match of the day for team but at least on the subs or reserves a Subasic would have been incredible and selfishly would have been amazing for this actual series either way I'm really, really excited. I think the team we put together, other than the left back and the goalkeeper, is absolutely fantastic. If you told me at the start that I would have had a 92 Perisic, Kramaric has actually been very, very nice to use and has a really, really go good goal scoring record. Nine goals in six games and 11 assists is absolutely fantastic. The only issue I have right now is with this guy. JJ Okocha is doing next to nothing for me. And that worries me a little bit. So I think what I might end up doing is is maybe if I can't get him to work as a winger, maybe we put JJ up front or maybe we move JJ on the left and then maybe we move Kramaric on the right and then maybe even move, just for the sake of it, uh, Perisic through the middle would have been, uh, I think, a good play just to move the players around. Or maybe we switch to 4-1-2-1-2, move Kramaric into the midfield or something like that and then try and go for like a JJ Akocha and Perisic up front combo, maybe by the second half, right? Um, and then a Modric team of the year card at camp. That is something that we'll do. So let's get into our final two games and see if we can build up some coins just to have some decent upgrades. And maybe what I'll do for the end of the episode, if we get a big upgrade, like a, a lot of coins to work with, I will leave the decision to have a full Croatian Nigerian team in the YouTube comments hands. So we'll go with one option with like, let's say a good upgrade, like a, an icon goalkeeper and maybe an icon left back or something like that. And then the other option will be the Croatian or Nigerian option. And then you guys can vote if you want. So let's get into it. That wasn't too bad, actually, to be fair. Found a game pretty damn quick. What the hell is this? Oh my God. Oh, oh my god, if I beat this team, we have a super sub. We have a honey hacho nananana. Oh my god. 
We've got a Nigerian super sub. I, I know I'm blind, but I, I don't see a Croatian in there. Oh my God. Okay. We need, I need to have the game of my life against this guy, man. Body, honey, Hacho. Don't do this to me, dude. Honey. Oh yeah, that's a foul for sure. Okay, good. He gonna, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Bida or whatever the hell his name is probably has the best hair in the World Cup, I would say. Best might score this, you know. Oh. Kramerich! Oh, that was such a good play. I think Kramerich might. No, I think he's four star. Four star. I was going to say, if he has a three-star weak foot, that's actually a bad play for me, but... Oh, that was a really, really nice run there. Oh my god, man. I'm, I'm like playing under pressure because I'm so excited at the idea of maybe having Ihani Hacho as a super sub. Con concentrate. Oh! Oh my god! Dude, Moses is insane. Moses! No! Oh! 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 What? What just happened? What, dude? How am I getting rocked? I mean, Alexander Arnold is a baller, right? I mean, God, did he have a great World Cup camp? Or World Cup campaign? Um. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know why my wingbacks are flipped right now. They're me out. There goes my... That's Lovren, dude. Lovren! Oh! <laughs> what is Lovren doing? Oh, my God. I actually thought that was a Joe Hart save. Lovren just whiffed it. Tackle. Of course, it goes right back to him. Silly ass game. And there you go. There you go. One nothing down after I perfectly tackle the ball myself. And it's not like my 11 shots were from like 40 yards out or anything either. That's FIFA for you, man. Minus 30,000 coins going into the half. I think now that we're at halftime, I am going to make um, at least the formation change here to 4 one 2 one 2 Perisic, um, JJ, Modric, Kramaric, Rakitic, and Didi. Yeah, that's the move. I actually might oh you know what if that doesn't work by the 70th minute i'm gonna actually put moses on overlap let's go right from kickoff all right jj that's what wow talk about kickoff boost and the formation change working all right zero coins to work with i'll take that man pretty ugly play and i'm pretty sure jj has a three-star weak foot so i don't know how he hit that so well and that's not a foul holy fuck man who still plays this shitty game legitimately who still plays this fucking shit game dude who still plays this trash man who still plays this who still plays this Suck your mom. Suck your mom! Two kickoff boost goals, but this game is perfect! Look at that touch from JJ, dude. The heaviest touch ever. Suck it! Suck it! 50,000 coins up now, thanks to Luka Modric. My god, this game makes me toxic, man. Oh my god, the patience there with Luka Modric. I'm pretty sure this guy's Joe Hart has about 17 saves. Now, I realize I'm probably shooting too much from distance, so that's my own fault there. But, good lord, they're, they've been from good positions. My god, he's going to tie it up before the end of the game. You just know how FIFA works these days. You just know how FIFA works these days, man. I'm getting torn to shreds, by the way. Like, literally, my whole... Ha 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 ha! The game sets up perfectly. 
for him to pass it in the net. All right, 50,000 coins up, but more importantly, Ihani Hacho Nananana, if you guys vote him in, has a chance of making it on our bench, no matter what. We're up 50,000 coins. We beat this guy's team. So even if I lose my next game, at least we can get this man on our bench. I should know better. I shouldn't play this guy. His team name is Weekend League Squad. Oh God. With attribute cards? Oh my God. What a chance early on, man. I need to be scoring that. I do everything right when it comes to creating chances, except for actually scoring. I'm like, I'm legit the Raheem Sterling of FIFA. Legit. Oh my God. That's so accurate, isn't it? Oh. oh, I am the Raheem Sterling of FIFA, aren't I? Oh my God, I hit the post. Anyways, 80,000 coins up. Oh God. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. JJ with the easy cringe tap in. The classic FIFA 18 trash gameplay tap in. I'll take it, man. Look at that, man. People are so sick of FIFA 18 gameplay that fans in the stands of a virtual game don't even show up anymore. The fight, the stadium's half full. If that isn't a s s symbolism, then I don't know what the hell is anymore, dude. You know he's gonna score from kickoff too. This. <laughs> nutmegs my player with the pass literally passes it through my player like it's i honestly hate this game man you get you genuinely get zero reward with this game literally put my player right in front of position he passes it through my player i get nutmegged meanwhile his players are blocking everything i manually move my player into the passing lane he just puts it through my player so i get nutmegged that's a poor defensive play for me to be fair i'm not going to say anything otherwise but you see how just unrewarding this trash pile game is? Uh, of course he makes a save. Sure, of course I'll hit the post with Luka Modric. The shittiest thing you can do in, in your day is decide to play FIFA 18. Not saying a lot because there's people that ha have to make a career out of wrestling crocodiles. You know, there, there's someone giving birth right now. And honestly, it'll be worse playing FIFA 18 than giving birth to a kid that has like a head that's three times too big, which is why no one fucking touches this shitty game anymore. Oh, Jesus Lord. What are we up? 20,000 coins, even though we're losing right now. Up 20,000 coins, even though we're losing. Modric hit the post God knows how many times. What an utter nightmare. I think I'm probably gonna edit out that whole conversation of me saying you can do anything better than playing FIFA 18 right now, including giving childbirth. Look at this, man. Look at this, dude. I'm on fucking like... What else can I do other than give away a pen there? What else can I do, man? This guy does nothing and then just can run in on net like it's absolutely nothing. Okay, well, minus 10K again. Fantastic. Of course Courtois makes a save. Why wouldn't he? Great pass, JJ. Thank God, dude. Thank God, 90th minute garbage. This game being a pile of shit actually worked in my advantage. So we're up to 20,000 coins again. I can't believe how hard I have to kill myself for 20,000 coins with these tryhards, man, that still play this game. Good lord, man. Perisic is a good card. 20k! Can I hold on to at least 20,000 coins? Or am I just gonna have my entire team open up? If this guy scores, screw this guy, dude. Honestly, I'm not counting anything. 
This guy is just a straight up tryhard that tried to come up against me to be that guy after he beats you at the end of the game. GG, bro. Great game. I'm not scoring, dude. You can go fist yourself, man. You've been a tryhard all game. Uh, I'm not going to then have you try and give me the game. Go fist yourself, bro. Legit. I hate people like this. Oh, my God. Apologies for all the toxicity in those two games, man. I got to say this, and it pains me to say this. I'm actually so excited that this might be the last few games of FIFA 18 I play for the rest of the year. And we're in July, the beginning of July. There's still almost three months of FIFA 18 left before we can all look forward to FIFA 19. That just kills me, man. That just goes to show how awful of a game FIFA 18 is in terms of gameplay. I love FIFA, I love every part of FIFA 18, but the gameplay is so shambolic to the point that three months before FIFA 19, I'm sitting here thinking this series might be the final set of games that I play. Now that doesn't mean that the poor man road to glory may stop. I, I might just do the poor man road to glory, but not play like literally just do squads, maybe one random game here and there for the rest of the year. But in terms of outright having to play FIFA, this might be the end. So anyways, you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But more importantly, with 20,000 coins, we had a bit of a heartbreaker here. If I did not concede at least one of those kickoff boost goals, we would be able to afford this guy. The 84 rated Versalco has been selling for 21k. I'm a thousand coins away from affording this guy. Now you could make the argument saying, oh, but Nick, you scored a kickoff boost goal as well. So you're right. You're not, you're, you're not incorrect if you think like that. So at the end of the day, 20,000 coins, I'm going to stick to the Croatian players or the players that I set a challenge out for myself to try and succeed with, which is Croatian and Nigerian players only. Now in the substitutes, as long as you guys voted in, we do now potentially have that Ihani Hacho Nanana. Um, as a super sub. So that's cool. I like that. I like having another option other than, um, you know, the attackers I have on the field. So that's good. And in terms of the upgrades, it's going to be a tough one for you guys. Okay. So bear with me. Pair one is going to be the 85 rated upgraded, but still regular card Subasic and the 80 rated upgraded, but still regular card Versalco. I hope I said his name correctly. Okay. I just unfortunately can't put two of the same players in concepts in the reserves it won't let me do that so pair one if you want that so a much better goalkeeper but a worse version of versalco that's pair one and then pair two is going to be obviously a worse goalkeeper but looking at the stats well no i was gonna say not insanely worse yes the speed and the positioning is way worse either way pair two is the six foot seven kalinic and the inform first version inform versalco so you guys get to vote do i go with a better version of versalco at left back but a worse goalkeeper in pair number two or do we go with pair one that has Subasic and then the regular versalco on seven chemistry let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want thank you so much for the support on this series again apologies that i let this game make me so toxic man it's just I just wish the game was better, and I guess I wish I was better at the game. So on that note, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!